Hi guys, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a sort of list of all of these new products that have been coming out. They might already be out, they might be coming out soon, and let you guys know whether or not I am planning on buying them. I was almost gonna call this an anti-haul because there are so many that I am just not gonna buy, but I'm not gonna call an anti-haul because there are a few I might buy. So if you are interested in seeing what stuff I am interested in or really not interested in, then keep watching. Before we get into that though, please give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in anti-hauls and wish lists and videos like that. Subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and smash the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. The first thing that's going on this list is the new Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. Now they did have a version of this palette that came out and while some of the reviews were rave, a lot of them were not so rave, like the shadows were crumbling they weren't paying off, things like that. So what they did, and I totally respect this, is they went ahead and remastered the palette and made the formulas better. Now, I did not have the original version of this palette. I do not own it, and I do not plan on getting this one. I will say the colors are stunning. They're right up my alley, to be honest, with those warm shades and the gold glitters and the reds and things like that. But at $65 for 18 shades, it is a little bit of a steep price tag, and I'm pretty sure that if I'm honest with myself, I can dupe all of those colors with stuff I already have in my collection. Plus, I've watched a few reviews on YouTube already of this palette, and the reviews are never stellar. They're like, this is the okayest. Even on Sephora, the product has 3.5 stars. Now again, I'm somebody who likes to try things for themselves and really figure out if it works for me, but nonetheless, this is one I am going to be skipping. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Tatcha Pearl Tinted Eye Illuminating Treatment. <laughs> that is a mouthful. At $48, this is a little pot of a tinted treatment that you just pat under your eyes, and what it's supposed to do is super hydrate your under eyes, but also illuminate them and hide dark circles just a little bit. This is not a concealer, this is not a foundation, anything like that. I did try this in store after seeing it. I think it was on Jay Kiss's channel, and th this shit is magic. All it did was brighten my under eyes just enough so that when I don't feel like wearing a full face of makeup or anything like that, it was just enough to make me feel normal. Now, why didn't I buy this right away? Well, the little jar is 0.4 ounces, which doesn't seem like that bad, but it is a teeny tiny jar. And granted, you don't need that much product, but you do need enough where I can't see that jar lasting you very long at that price tag. So that's one I'm still gonna have to sit on and consider. I might even go into Sephora and get like a little sample of it so I can see how long that sample lasts because if that lasts for a long time on me, then that price tag will be worth it. The next thing I wanna go to is the one I'm most torn about. I just spat at the camera. The next thing I wanna go into is the one I'm most torn about and that is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. These colors speak to my very deep, grungy 90s soul. This retails for a whopping $58, and there are 10 shadows, bringing it to just under $6 per shadow. Now, if you've used Melt shadows before, you know the quality is freaking amazing. You barely touch it, and you get strong pigment, and I just, I, I, I almost fainted. Fainted when I saw this color selection. Those kind of grungy browns, that olive green, things like that, they are really like my happy place. But again, if I'm being honest with myself and I'm putting the hoarder and the lemming mentalities aside, I have these colors somewhere in my collection. Most of them, that olive green. No, I have it in the Kat Von D new palette. I think I'm probably gonna skip that one. It's already sold out, right? Right? It's sold out. I hope it's sold out so I don't even have a choice. I'll just let you know that the rest of this stuff is probably stuff I'm not gonna get. Let's start with the Dose of Colors Block Party Eyeshadows. These are $20 each. Sure, they look lovely swatched, but they are teeny tiny shadows for $20 each. And like, for me to spend $20 on an eyeshadow, I better apply it and immediately have a prince from some foreign country that's like, you, I've been waiting for you all my life. And because of that eyeshadow, I must make you a princess. And then immediately, somehow I skip all that and become queen and I'm rich and I can hire Guns N' Roses to play a personal concert just for me in my palace. Is that too much to ask? Really though, I'm sure these shadows are lovely. I've seen them swatched. No, not for 20 bucks. I'm just not doing it. I might be butchering this name, but then let's talk about the Tarte Aspen Overt Collection. This is a $39 palette for nine eyeshadows, one blush, and one highlighter. This is lovely if you're into very, 
very neutral colors. To me, when this palette is opened in front of me, I'm almost like a dog who has gone colorblind because they all look the same to me. They're all some variation of beige. Now, with that being said, I don't want this to seem like a slight at all, but this seems like something that my mom would personally love. Or like, I know a couple people who really don't like wearing makeup. They just wear, you know, like little bits here and there and maybe a little shimmer if they want to sparkle for a night out. So I actually could consider buying this for someone else, but for me, nah, nah. On the drugstore side, there is the Physician's Formula Butter Collection, and this comes, you know, with their famous bronzer, and it comes with a lotion and things like that, and it's only $30 for the whole kit. So price is not even a question in this, because $30 is a great deal for this kit. I just don't see any need for it in my personal collection. Sure, the butter bronzers smell lovely, but I've got enough bronzers. I've got enough highlighters. I can't believe those words just left my mouth. Really though, I like the butter bronzers, I really do, but they don't, you know, get my panties in such a bunch that I need to run out and buy this. But if you do like the butter bronzers and you're like crazy about them like some people are, this is a great deal. And for you, this might be your holy grail. Staying on the more affordable side is the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. I have Juvia's Place stuff in my collection and the quality is next level. It is amazing and especially for that price, I fully support Juvia's Place. However, this product is still going on my anti-haul because I just, I, I'm not feeling it. I don't know what it is about this particular color selection. I've seen other YouTubers and other influencers use it and it looks really pretty, but it's just not doing anything for me. I don't know. $21 though for that whole palette where you can see like, you know, I just talked about a $58 and a $65 palette for just as many eyeshadows. If you are into Juvia's Place and if you don't have a bunch of dupes for the colors of this in your collection already, I would highly recommend trying them out. Like, I really think that they are an amazing brand that needs more publicity at all times. I will just not be purchasing this palette. The color combo, like I said, it's just not doing it for me. Then is the oh so talked about Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette. So here's the thing. I like Manny MUA. I like his personality. He seems like a genuinely good guy. A lot of people seem to like him. He sort of is one of those tell it as it is people, everything like that. This palette, everyone's getting so worked up about it and I see nothing unique there. Sure, there are bright colors, but I've already had that in several of my palettes. I have that in my brand new Kat Von D palette I just got. I have it in several sugar pill palettes. I have it in a ton of palettes. And I think that a lot of people are genuinely buying it, not just for the name, but to support Manny, which is really cool because, you know, if you are an influencer and you're supporting other influencers, I will always be happy about that because there are too many that try to knock each other down. So to see people lifting each other up really, really does something to me and my good gutty works. But this palette, nah, nope. No. This palette is $45 for 14 shades. I've watched a ton of videos and tutorials on YouTube about it already. I saw Jay Kisses, I saw Jamie Genevieve's, and nobody's review is overwhelmingly as positive as I feel like it needs to be for me to be wanting this palette. Everyone is just like, okay, you know, here we go. This is, this works, but you should do this to it to make it work best. This works, but like, I mean, you have to have a sticky base, but like, I, I suggest using this kind of brush because otherwise it's not gonna work. I don't like putting that much work into my palettes anymore. I'm at the point where I wanna buy something and have it work, and if it doesn't, it's gotta go. So again, this will be a palette I'm personally passing on. This one kind of feels weird to say, but Sugar Pill just came out with a new collection of liquid lipsticks called the High Tea Collection. And you guys know that not only do I adore Sugar Pill, but their liquid lipsticks are some of my favorite formulas, but I think I'm skipping on this whole collection. It looks absolutely lovely if you're into pink lipstick shades. I don't wear pinks. I wear browns, I wear reds, I wear nudes, things like that. Pinks just, I don't know, they do something kind of weird to my skin and these are all different varieties of pink. The only one that sort of appealed to me is Crumpet because it was sort of a brownish pink, if you will, but I have 87 brownish pinks in my drawer right now. Is that too many? Those retail for $18 each and for what it's worth, if you like that color selection, buy these because the formula of Sugar Pills Liquid Lipsticks is next to none. It is amazing. They go on smoothly and your lips do not feel overly dry and they last forever. Finally, there are the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighters. Now these are interesting in that they have highlighter pack and they've split down the middle, 
but these colors are definitely bolder than your usual highlight. In a usual highlight, it's usually a white base, and then there will be a different color sort of pearl mixed in, whether it's a gold or a pink, or you know, sometimes even like a blue or a green, things like that. These are straight colorful. There's a pink one, there's a purple one, there's a light blue, things like that. And it's not a white base with some light blue pigments. It is light blue, things like that. So they are interesting. At $36 though, I just can't see myself using them enough to justify the purchase. I don't think that price is bad at all. And I've only tried very few Fenty Beauty things and I've been impressed each time, but this is just not something I can see myself using often enough at all. Like I might use that once a year, you know what I mean? Because if I want a fluorescent pink highlight, I'm just gonna kind of make my own with some fluorescent pink eyeshadow and mix it with some highlighter and boom, there you go. But if you are somebody who likes avant-garde looks, if you are somebody who does editorial looks often, or if you are a professional working makeup artist, these could be really cool to have in your collection. I am not a professional working makeup artist. I am a professional makeup addict. <laughs> Do they give like degrees for that or something like that? Can I put that on my LinkedIn profile? That's it, you guys. Those are all the items that I could think of to put on the list of am I buying it or am I not? Like I said, the only one I'm really torn on still is that Melt Gemini palette. It's so beautiful. Tell me I don't need it. Comment below. Tell me I don't need it. Say, Linda, you don't freaking need it because you have those other colors, right? I try to comment back to every single comment that's ever left on my videos because seriously, like I love chatting with you guys. And anytime that you've shared my videos with other people and you know brought new viewers to my channel, that means more to me than I can even express in words. So thank you and I love you very much. You guys know you are my super freaking rock stars and I love you with my whole, whole, whole heart. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Vigo Video. Those are all glitter fallout. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.